set the heating element on 200 and the temperature of the wax is 178. I need it to be at 200 and then I will pull it off. Let's start around a bit. I got some sunshine candles today. Sunshine is a scent of banana, bubblegum, raspberry. It even smells a little citrusy, lemony. Melt, little babies melt. Let's see the temperature now, guys, after stirring. Eighty-six. We're almost there. Sunshine fragrance oil. We are making sunshine candles today. About four and a half to five pounds of wax will make about seven 16 ounce candles. Okay, now that my wax has melted to exactly 200 degrees, I will turn off my heating element. It is four pounds, 15 ounces. And now we are gonna add our coloring. Well, the temperature's still nice and hot. Since we're doing sunshine, I make it yellow, but I'm gonna mix in some yellow. The brighter, the better with this. All right, let's check the temperature on this. The temperature on this is 188. And I want it to be about 175. And then I'm gonna drop the fragrance sole, which is here. So one and a half ounces per pound. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my fragrance oil. And remember, I add it's about seven and a half ounces. I'm still about 175, so I'm gonna continue to stir it just a second long. I might make a little mess here, but bear with me. Whoops, look at that gorgeous color. All right, guys, I've already pre-wicked my jars over here. And here we go, first pour. I try to get as close as I can to the wick. Sometimes I have to hold it just so it reduces the splash. I feel to about right there. Okay, it's time for my literal favorite part of candle making. And it is actually, there's something so satisfying about this, especially when my scissors are nice and sharp. And again, I use popsicle sticks because I like them better than wick bars or wick clips. You turn to about one fourth of an inch labeling. Peel off the label. I like to lay it down flat when I do it so I can really see the center of the jar. And then I go like this all the way around the jar to make sure there's no air gaps or bubbles, rather. Okay, and then I get my I do that all around it. Now for the bottom part, I'm gonna peel my warning sticker that I buy right there. It tells you how to trim the wick and a bunch of stuff and pretty much don't leave a flame unattended, you know, basic warnings. 